What's going on, guys? This is not your regular guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, I call myself the motivation guy because my job is to inspire you to not only be great playing this game, but also in life, man. I believe in you guys. So connect with me when you get the opportunity on my Insta at your motivation guy. I'm posting a viz to inspire you to be great. So keep going, man. Keep going. So welcome back to a new pro guide series featuring none other than you. But before we get into all of that, you already know what time it is. It's time for the question of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's question is actually about you guys. Would you guys like to see more advanced guides or more casual learning videos that feature you guys like this one? Obviously, you know, everyone here at Pro Guides is working hard to make quality guides and we're not going to stop making those. But we're interested to hear if this is the type of content that you guys want to hear. Remember to leave your answer in the comments down below, and that would be an awesome time to hit that like and subscribe. And if you guys are feeling extra spicy, you can even ring that notification bell. Yeah, we're taking it to the next level. So as mentioned earlier, this is a new series we are starting called Out Played, where we take the top tips and tricks that you found on our Valorant and feature them here on the channel. There are some super dedicated community members out there blabbing away, trying to find awesome stuff, and we want to help them all out, all right? All authors of these videos, guys, were contacted, and they gave us permission to use their hard work. So please make sure to check them out with the links in the description. So finally, guys, yo, it's time to start the video. It's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy in the world. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Here we go. If you want to be featured in any of our next videos, you can join our Reddit, which is in the first description down below. Also, for our community members, we have just launched a Discord and we would love it if you would join us there. We're going to be having live Q&As with Immortal and Valorant coaches as well as community tournaments. Seriously, guys, you do not want to miss this. Everything is down in the description, so don't forget to click those links. All right, guys, and starting things off with our first trick, we have this really flashy jet and raise boost from you typing. The main part of this trick is Ray's boosting herself with her blast pack while Jet uses her dash tailwind to really send Ray's flying. We'll let these guys show you the results. You can really get some good distance in some of these boosts, man. And they even show them using it in a real match. Heading on into the number two spot, guys, is a nice wall bang spot discovered by you slash Gloria Burgers. All right, so we're not sure how many people already knew about this spot, but I for sure didn't. Hopefully, we can see some useful mind games come from this wall bank spot, man. Maybe some, you know, intentional bait to let the attackers have U-Haul or just lead them into a cypher tripwire while someone with an operator heaven can take them out. Okay, guys, so up next is the number three slot. We have a cool trick that might get patched pretty, pretty soon, all right? So use it while you can. Did you know that Sage can actually get a slow orb into an A short on the Haven within five seconds of leaving Defender spawn? Okay, you guys gotta check this cool lineup found by you slash why I'm here for. Okay, so this spot is something we don't think that Riot actually intended to be in the game, so we don't really know like when or if it's going to be removed, but you know, we're going to keep an eye out on it and we're going to bring it up in our patch notes video if it does get changed. Sage just keeps on giving, you know, with our fourth tip, another sweet slow orb lineup, all right? 
Unfortunately, guys, yo, in this video, you know, it doesn't have an audio, so I'm gonna describe for you guys what's going on, all right? So, you need to head to the very edge of the part of the metal container that this is sticking out into sight on bind. From there, you turn around and face towards these four panels on top of the building adjacent to hookah. Okay, so line up your crosshair with the bottom left edge of the closest panel and then also with the top left of the same panel. At this point, you should be ready to go ahead and toss that slow orb. The really neat thing about this lineup is that, you know, you can set it up before the round even starts. It also might bait the enemy team into thinking that the slow orb came from A, leading to a nasty surprise in the form of a big ice wall waiting for them should they decide to try and push B. Okay, so in patch 0.50, Riot changed the spawn barriers at mid for split to try and make the map a little less defender favored. Luckily, for all of you Viper mains out there, you slash Cobra has got your back in our fifth spot with the new lineup for Viper's heaven to mid one way smoke. This will hopefully help Viper become even more viable on split now. So I'll turn it over to Cobra and let them show you the lineup. So because they moved the by phase barrier from over there on split to up here, you can now line yourself up on this brown line right here in the corner against the wall. And you're going to use the snake bite UI and line the tip top of it uh, up in this corner right here. And if you do that, you throw, it lands perfectly in the row, giving you the perfect one way. And as you can see, you can't see it from mid. But you'll be able to see their feet. Poison's off. The All right, so just when we thought that finally getting one tap from someone who was walking was over, you slash chicken and waffle 723 had to go and find our sixth cheeky trick. All right, so apparently, like if you tap crouch while shift walking, you become completely accurate for a split second and can actually fire a shot in that time. You know, it has minimum downside, you know, only forcing you to stop moving for a split second and can be used pretty well with the operator. Okay guys, you gotta take a look and see if this is something you might try in an actual game. Ha, <laughs> you know, I bet you thought that glitchy cypher cams were a relic of, you know, last week. Well, in any case, you slash Frank Dubs 27 is not giving up trying to find new cam spots for the seventh slot, even though, you know, he may be, you know, perhaps possibly found it by accident. But, you know, it's still a pretty neat spot that isn't too overpowered. Okay, well, let's show it to you guys. Okay, so as you can see, it can help you get some decent control over mid on split, and such an advantage should be never overlooked. So, you know, dropping into number eight, it looks like Sova brings more than just recon boats to the party with a cool little boost found by U slash SM 3XY P4 NC 4K3. Whew, goodness gracious, that's a long name. And U slash Fresh Mime. Okay, so as you can see here, this boost works just by Sova getting his drone under any agent and just flying it upwards while the agent on top is jumping. 
This is a great time to mention that, you know, for episode two, we're going to be scanning all over r slash Valorant for the tips and tricks you guys have found. Make sure that if you upload a video to the subreddit, you know, that it follows the rules, all right? And is at least 30 seconds long. Or you might end up like U slash SM 3XY P4NC4K3 here. That's a long name. All right, so Viper is our theme for our last two tips and tricks of the video. You guys ready? And we're going to be starting it off with number nine. And this nice lineup on Bind discovered by U slash Loose, please. There are, you know, different ways to line up the smoke, but what really caught my eye was that I've actually never seen someone throw one way like this. So maybe one of you Viper mains out there can find a way to adapt this lineup into something even more useful. Last but certainly not least, guys, we have a crazy Viper boost. This particular clip posted by u slash Philo222. If you've been on r slash Valorant at all over the week or so, you've probably seen this Viper boost in effect. I love playing with our food. Okay, dude. Okay, okay. Dude. That's that's the one. That's the fucking. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm even on top of the shit there. What the fuck? Dude? Okay, that's fucking crazy. So we picked this clip simply because Philo222 and his friend seemed so happy, in fact, that we actually might have had to censor a few words. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, listen, the grind never, never stops. So we're here to help you guys out with that. And that concludes our very first episode of Outplayed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know, as we know, you know, it is a little outside of the content we normally produce. So don't forget to leave your opinion on the video or your answer to the question of the day in the comments down below. We will be reading through all the comments, guys, to see your guys' feedback on the video. All right, so until next time, we'll see you. Peace.